happy Halloween. I'm Farron, I use they them pronouns, and I am so excited for this video. I spent a pretty penny at Julian's, and if you want to see it, stick around. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Happy to have you. If you are returning, welcome back. I really do appreciate you. My social media is linked in the description box. TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Goodreads, Pinterest, link down below for you. You decided to give me a follow on any of my platforms. Thank you. And now, let's get into today's video. So, before I show you the stuff that I got in this big old box, I want to say like the story because it was kind of weird ordering from Joann's. I put in my order like two Fridays ago and they started taking money out of my account after the, I already paid for it and I was I thought it was really weird and so I had my sister call and she was like, oh they put a hold on it and you should be getting your money back in three business days and I was like okay don't get that I didn't understand that it was pretty weird and the second thing was when I put in my order I only had one fragile item and it came to me smashed to bits I got my money back for that but I placed my order another order to try to get a replacement this is two orders of Joann's and when I called yesterday because I took more money out of my account again they were like, yeah, we put a hold on it and you should see it in two to three business days. And so after the items ship. So the items shipped last night. So hopefully my money will be back by like Thursday. I don't know. So yeah, got that taken care of. And so now let's just dive into the box. I think I'm going to do this part first. I do want to say that when I did my original video for the one that included the dollar store, I forgot to show this like ribbon with bats on it. I forgot to show it in that video. So I'm going to show you that first. And I'm going to use my mission. I got a bunch more. So I got these ribbons. They're huge. I originally thought they were like a um, little bit smaller because they were supposed to go in my hair, um, like one bow at a time. And they actually, let me show you on the one that I unfolded. They're actually quite large. I still can use them for hair bows, but it's just, I didn't know they were going to be this big. Um, so I got, I ordered one of these and they sent me two. I think they sent me two because one of the items I ordered, they were out of. I don't know, but they sent me two of these because I only ordered one of them. And then I got this cute, I think it's like a tarot one. And this one's really cute. I think I got more... I don't know. We'll, we'll see what I got. I don't know if this is the same ribbon. I think it's slightly different. But there is a glare. So you can kind of see the ribbon. And all of the... Everything that I got was on sale. So it says $6. But I only spent $1.50 on the big ones and a dollar on the smaller ones so I saved a bunch of money and the ribbons were also like six dollars and I spent 150 on them so not too much um but I was thinking I can make chokers with like the smaller ones and make like hair bows with the bigger ones so I got this one which you can maybe yeah, you can see bats on it there was this bigger like there's a fabric that looked like this similar to this with like moons and stuff on it that i ordered and it was like four dollars a yard and they didn't have any more have any and i was like that sucks um there's also like one that was like fabric that was like pink and it was the ghost glowed in the dark and i love glow in the dark it may be childish but i do and i like bought like the glow in the dark poppets and this one's a ghost too so um because i love glow in the dark 
anyway then we have this moon one i got a couple moon ones i got this one and i got this one so i got two moon ones and then i got two different moth ones i got this purpley one And then I got this um, cream colored one. And this is like another like tarot one. This is like a smaller version of them. You can see the different tarot pieces on it. And then I I was very upset about the not getting the little spider version of this, but these are ghosts. It, you can't see them. They're like okay, you can kind of see them. They're ghosts, and they had like a spider version that was like black, and they ran out of them in my area. So I didn't get those, but I got the ghosties, and that's cute. And then I needed some twine and I wanted it to be not brown because that's not my aesthetic. So I found the black, um, some in black, and it was like $3. I didn't show you this one. This one is spider webs. Now we're going to go into this box. I also had something that's not from Joann's, but I ordered it. That, and it goes with my order with Joann's. So I'm going to show you that as well. Okay, so I like baking. I don't bake that much, but I do like the concept of baking. And I love Halloween stuff. And I, I'm mad that the skulls went out of stock before I could grab some because I even went in the store to see if they had them they didn't have them so that sucks but I wanted these Nordic wear cake lit pans and so I got the brains one which is I'm so excited about it and I got the tombstone ones as well and I watched Jade the Libra, and when I watched her, like, bake, like, for, like, what's it called? Spooky Kitchen? She had, like, made, um, these, like, hot pockets, I would say. And she made them in these, and it's really cool. And I was like, I need to get some. So, I got these, and I'm going to get these skull ones. The reason why I was going to get them online... But they're like way expensive online and I got them like these were like $7.50 which is like half off and I was like why are they like $30 online when they're $15 at Joann's and so I got some I'm very excited about it I also oh you can't see that got the cake pan I'm so excited about having this cake pan and my sister was like since you bought all this cake stuff are we gonna get are you gonna bake this month and I was like yeah I'm gonna be baking again this is from Walmart and it was about like under two dollars each I got the fun Fetty cake I got the orange one with like pumpkins and bats on it and then I got the matching icing because I was like because I saw like the black icing and like the green icing and I was like where's the orange icing to match because I want the bats on it and with black icing they wouldn't have included bats they, would have, they included ghosts so I got that for baking and so I might film a baking video or at least a tiktok of me baking um so yay 
This I got in the store. It is a, this is Halloween food crafting. So it's like a food grade dish, I guess. I don't know. But it's a little cauldron. And it's really cute. It was originally $6, but I got it for $3. So. And then I got these. These are originally $40. I think I spent $16 on them. And they are tarot string lights. Okay. This is what they look like on. Now, I have this giant thing. <laughs> and it came in like technically three pieces, but it's in one piece now. Now this is technically for food. And I might put snacks in it. You know what? I might be using it for snacks. Um, but I originally got it for my desk to put things on to help me organize things. But my snacks also need organization. It was originally like $60. I got it for $24. So yeah, got that. Very excited about it. Next, we have this spiderweb cake stand. It was originally $30, but I think I spent like $12 on it. We bought some reusable bags from Amazon. We got like a pack of 30 for maybe like $25, and they were pretty great until they weren't. They wouldn't close, or we could not get them to close. I got these. They're spooky, and I'm going to actually take them out so we can see them. They're from the brand Stir Halloween. They're reusable PV, PEVA bags. Four pieces. They're originally $10. I bought them for $5. So, yeah. Oh, okay. I was about to say what? Okay. So, you get two little like, snack size ones. And they say sweet and spooky. And then you get, I was like, where's the other one? That these are the four pack. And you get two with pumpkins on it. Hopefully they open and close pretty easily. Opening's not the problem. Yeah, that closes pretty nicely. Um, so, got these. Which is great because I have to work all day Saturday so I can be able to pack my lunch. And my... <laughs> where's my lunch box? pack my lunch in my Monster High lunch box with my spooky um, bags. So yeah, got that. Last up we have the fabric. So first up, I put this in my original order, like my second order for these um, Halloween trims. They are dancing skeletons and they're like three dollars and i was like i really want these this and they they canceled it out of my order and i was like why is it canceled i know when i went to that store it was there um and so i went into the store i because i had to pick up and they could do curbside i went into the store went exactly to where i knew i saw them there was two left i was like i'm not playing these games i'm getting both of them because they canceled my order so i should be getting those that three dollars back and that's gonna pay for this one and i just bought this one but i got them and guess what you guessed it they glow in the dark and that's why i wanted to get them i was like I, who's gonna pass up on glow in the dark dancing skeletons? I mean, come on, that's my that's my whole aesthetic. Now it's time for the fabric. So all of most of them are like tarot, so just <laughs> stick with me. Um, got this one. This one I'm like happy about. And if you're wondering if it glows in the dark, the answer is yes. 
so you don't have to worry anymore. It glows in the dark. I haven't tested to see if it actually glows in the dark because I've been having it in this bag for the last three days, um, but it glows in the dark. This one was the most expensive one. It was on sale, I think, but it was the most expensive one. It spent like $7 on a yard. And if you know, like, the vibe, I had to get it. Like, if you know me, I had to get this. The Adams Family Tarot Cards? If they were actual tarot cards with the Adams Family on it, I would have already bought them. That's how much of the Adams Family. And that's why when I saw it, because I didn't see it when I was, like, typing in Halloween fabric, it never showed up. And then... One day, I'm like scrolling through the fabric and I see it and I'm like, cart? No cart. So I got a yard of this. Then we have this one. It's another tarot. The rest of them? Actually, no. The last one's not tarot, but this one. The next two are tarot. And then this one is another. This one had like a ribbon. There was ribbon for like with this on it. I went with the fabric and it actually is very glittery. It's glitter fabric. So I was like, I need it. And the last one, this was in the first order. The rest of them were in like the second order where there's just one yard. This is two yards and it's like knit, I think. No, not knit. Fle flannel. This one, I know it's flannel. And I think this one is flannel. I think I'm seeing the slight glow. Anyway, this guy here, I have two yards of. And it's really it's soft, but I know that if I were to have this on my skin, I probably wouldn't like it. But that's just because I have not sensitive skin, but... Um, sensory issues there we go that's the word i'm i'm always looking for that word sensory issues not sensitive but sensory issues so it's not for putting directly on my body this one's not for my body at all um i saw it and i was like i need a new fabric um for my altar so i saw it and i was like this is cool the last one is costume fabric it's like it says it's knit pre-cut and it was originally 15 dollars I, did I spend, I think I spent $6 on it, I think, six fifty. I don't remember, I was just like, stripes, every time I look for like, things that are striped, the, f I can't, I don't find any good ones on like Amazon or anything like that, and then I'm like, I just want something, so if I wanted to make an outfit, or like a top or something, that are stripes, I can do that, so I got this, it's pre-cut, um, and six dollars for it, good deal to me, and the fabric, this is some nice fabric, this is, this fabric feels really nice, I love how it says costuming fabric, and I'm like, this is for costuming, I would wear this every day, this fabric is so nice, so, sensory issues, I mean, everybody has different sensory issues, like, I may think this is the itchiest fabric ever, because I do think that. There's another reason why I want to line it with satin. But someone else might think it's the, like the softest fabric ever. And that's okay. This, not the softest fabric ever, but it, it will feel really nice on the skin. And that's another, I like this fabric. This one is my favorite texture. Um, and my favorite one has to be this one the fabric is pretty i think it's cotton um the fabric is not my favorite do i care though no but yeah that is my joann's haul it's a pretty big haul because it's like two orders so here's my update for the joann's order i put in the order again like friday and got it today 
This is one of the items. It is the moth ribbon. But the other item, I filmed the entire reaction and it's on TikTok. And I got emotional because it arrived to me broken again. So my final thoughts from Joann's is don't order from Joann's. <laughs> I've had so many issues with ordering from Joann's that uh, I can't recommend ordering from them. I would say if you want something and it's at Joann's and you are nearby and are able to go into the store to purchase it, to go into the store and purchase it. I would even say call them the store and say you're gonna come pick up the item and if they can hold it or something, I would recommend doing that before I would say order from Joann's. Because I've ordered from Joann's twice and both times they have taken twice the money out and even though it comes back, I have to wait three to five business days before I can see it again. So it's not, it's not worth it to me. Um, and Another thing, ordering fragile items from Joann's would not recommend. They don't bubble wrap them, they don't put fragile stickers on them, and so they just put the item in the box and it gets jostled around. And so the box, like it looks fine, but inside the box, everything's broken. Um, so I definitely don't recommend ordering anything break breakable from Joann's, and I wouldn't suggest ordering from them either because if you don't have twice the amount of the order in your account they will just charge you they're going to charge you twice and you won't have that money in your account anymore so if you have like a 50 dollar order and you don't have a hundred dollars in your account they're going to take the 50 dollars and then they're going to take when they start scanning the items again um they're going to take more 50 another 50 dollars out and you have to wait three to five days in order to see that $50 back into your account. And if you need that money or you don't have that cushion, your account can be upside down for three days. And you would have to pay like an upside down fee or whatever it's called. But if you've not had this experience, completely ignore what I'm saying. Um, but that's just what I've experienced in the twice, two times that I've ordered from them. And so I just want to put a PSA out there for those who wanted to order from Joann. But that is all for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification notified when I upload. Try to upload on Tuesdays on this channel. My social medias are linked in the description box down below and give me a follow over there. And comment if you have had any issues with your Joann orders because I've ordered from them twice, like a week apart, and had the issue twice so i just want to know if it's just my orders or is everyone else experiencing the same thing and until next time drink some water eat some eat a snack and enjoy the rest of the spooky season bye